you have become the historian of the corruption in Miami. Where did that come from and how did that how did that start? Because the you, unoffic you really the unofficial have, you, ombudsman of the yeah, entire county. <laughs> because my hashtag because Miami. Hashtag because Miami. You know, I, I think it was born out of I mean, you grow up in this community and you realize pretty quickly that like uh, you know, Alfred Spellman, my producing partner, he compares Miami and um, Florida at large, but Miami specifically to the little town in the movie Breakdown with Kurt Russell, you know, where kind of everybody in the town is in on this hustle from the gas station attendant to the sheriff. Everybody's there, you, you know, some, you know, people drive through town, they kidnap the wife, they hold her for ransom, the guy's got to pay, you know, like, this is just what they do. And, and it's Miami's kind of like that, you know, we, we rely on, on people coming in from the outside, we kind of turn you upside down by your ankles, shake all the money out of your pockets. And, you know, everybody divvies it up in town and, and every, you know, and then you go back home kind of you know, broke and, and dazed and said, wow, Miami's a lot of fun, you know? Uh, but like, you know, so um, it's a hustle town. It's because we have very little indigenous industry. Um, we subsist from hustle to hustle, you know, from we, we exist in boom and bust cycles. And so we, we live from boom to boom and how to artificially inflate those bubbles, you know, um, it's always a hustle. And so a lot of people are in on it. So a lot of people here who, if you are in hospitality, if you are in real estate, if you're in construction or development or, or, or the restaurant business, whatever, or the nightclub business, whatever you're doing, it's not really a self-sustaining economy. It's all designed to attract tomorrow's newcomers, right? Um, it's all designed to, it's all built on growth, unsustainable growth. We are a peninsula. There is a finite amount of space. There's a finite amount of resources. It is an unsustainable economy. But yet everybody's in on it. Nobody wants to talk shit because they are reliant on the the new investment, the the outside people, the the new arrivals, the the, the growth. And so, you know, somebody's got to call it out. Someone has to say, you know, if you really love this place, you have to say, you know, you got to hang a lantern on the problems. You go, what's the saying? We only roast the ones we love. You know, but the reality is, is that how are you going to make anything better unless you acknowledge that there is a problem, that there is a toxicity? There's arguably a arguably a cancer on this community and it is by and large the political class you know the political grifters and the dynastic kind of political crime families uh, who who have been feeding at the public trough and victimizing this community and the taxpayers for generations someone has to call that out and there's not a lot of people incidentally in a position to do so for two reasons number one their livelihood is connected to the lie you know the livelihood is connected to the hustle so they don't want to call it out because, because, you know, the second you sort of start to poke holes in this facade, everybody realizes it's, you know, it's bullshit. Um, and the second reason is a lot of people are scared uh, because a lot of people depend on these government officials. I mean, we have a, you know, a government here where you have politicians and bureaucrats who will uh, illegally and unconstitutionally target private businesses and shut them down, you know, kind of use code enforcement of the police department as their own personal tantan makut to target private business owners and to target political uh, enemies. And so people really are, are, are legitimately scared into silence. They're, they have uh, uh, managed many of the politicians in this town to effectively stifle dissent out of fear. What kind of corrupt horseshit is that? What kind of, what kind of, you know, third world communist authoritarian dictatorship nonsense is that, okay? This is the United States of America and we have to speak truth to power and we have to, uh, uh, we have to talk about the dysfunction uh, and corruption of our government. It's the only way, the first step, <laughs> as you know, in first step in recovery is acknowledging that there's a problem. And so the people, there's nobody in denial in Miami. There's people who are just lying, okay? And they're lying because the, because that is their business. Their business is to is for people to believe the myth that we're a tech hub, that we are Hollywood East, that we are a modern a modern art community. None of these things ever come to pass, but it's damn helpful in selling real estate and building condos and and renting hotel rooms 
and booking restaurants and nightclubs and bottle service. And so, so you know, everybody says the, uh, the rising tide raises all ships. And that leads us to the other problem, the rising tide will eventually stop raising our ships and eventually sink us. And nobody seems to care as long as the checks are clearing and the Bitcoin is is flying and the uh, the cash is, is raining. I mean, everybody seems to be cool. Uh, and then at some point, there's just not. It's a disposable city. And, and at some point, hopefully, I mean, not in our lifetimes, you know, it will be underwater and then everybody will just move on to the next disposable, this disposable city. So that's the happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> we've lit, we've lit the fire, everybody. We've lit the fire. <laughs> <laughs>